Books are a place to escape, I was told. Adults started saying that spiel when I wasn't that old. They said I could find people like me, under dogs breaking molds and living their dreams. People like puzzle pieces that just don't quite fit, except when I looked. All I saw was cis hetero bullshit. And after a while, I get tired of seeing on almost every single cover boys and girls locking lips with each other, these authors cranking out another and another. But where are the characters who are like me, the ones who seem to be remaining unseen by a world who decided that I only belong in fantasy? It's all subtle or magic, and if you look hard enough, you will find people like you. That's enough, you'll get by. But the fact is that books keep us hidden away, and I'm not just talking about being gay. I'm speaking for people who have only been taught that there is male and there is female. But what if I'm not? All of these writers seem to steer clear of explaining that people are actually queer. We are whispers, we are silent. When will we get to shine to read in pages someone with pronouns like mine? So dear authors, please, why don't you take a chance and stop writing all the shitty teenage romance of dystopian wastelands vampires who glitter and such because trust me, there will always be enough. And maybe one day when I walk in the store, I will see a book with a cover, someone who flexes between a girl and a boy, or someone who just feels like they are in between. And finally, we will actually be seen. So that was a spoken word poem that I wrote about uh, queer representation or LGBTQIA plus representation in the media and in books, specifically in books. Because and the reason I wrote this is because I get very upset going to the young adult genre or the teen section, because I'm, I'm a teen, um, of like libraries or bookstores and seeing there's pretty much no representation of the LGBTQIA plus community or whatever ac acronym you want to use um, in literature. It's so hard to find, specifically for people who are non-binary or agender or genderqueer or gender fluid, there is like no representation at all. I don't think I found a book where there's characters who are like me, or like people who don't identify with being male or female, or who identify with moving between genders. Unless it's like a fantasy book and they're like a magical creature or whatever, and those magical creatures aren't don't have genders and they're not male or female. But we need more representation of that in young adult literature because that's what teenagers read, that's what young people read. We need that. We need more representation. So authors, people who write, please put queer characters in your books because there isn't enough. There's never going to be enough. You can never have enough of that. And, you know, like, please just do that because I know so many people who would benefit from seeing people like them in books. It would help people understand. It would just, it'd be so amazing. So if you're an author and you're watching this, please, 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 please add queer LGBTQIA plus characters in your books. It, it really is important. Representation is very important and there is such a lack of it in there, especially people who are non-binary or genderqueer. Please do it. Please do it. Okay. Also, there's probably glitter on my face somewhere because I got back from working and I work with kids and glitter and art, so I hope you enjoyed that spoken word poem. It wasn't like the most amazing thing, but if you did enjoy it, that'd be cool and you could give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I know that wasn't exactly what other people were doing, but I kind of wanted to mix it up. So I'm going to go now. Bye! <laughs>